stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio. Manila. Ano naman ang mga ganap natin ngayon? Ah, sige na, ipasok na oh, ang ating yes. ipasok na ang ganap. Correct. Ayan, okay. Ayan. So, Rainbow, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong gabing ito ay ang title ng ating episode ay I Need a Hero. Wow. So, oh, hero. Na, Kayo pa, may hero na. Navigate your way through difficult times. Wow, ang okay. ganda naman. Oo nga. Sumagwan. Uh, Tagalogin natin yan. Paano ba sumagwan sa panahon na, na talagang uh, nahihirapan tayo sa panahon na tayo Uh, sinusuntok ng maraming hamon sa buhay. Yan. Oo nga. Ako, eh, mga suntok na naman sa buhay. <laughs> oh, bakit nga so, ba? Ang hero? Bakit oh, nga ba? Ba? Bakit nga ba? Ang isang hero? At ano ba talaga ang isang hero? Ikaw, Nathan, di, ano bang masasabi mo dito? Ako, Ikaw eh, naman, hindi ko sa hero-hero eh. <laughs> Actually, maraming hero, di ba? Maraming hero na tinitigdan sa mga cartoons may mga hero nung ano nung mga bata tayo talagang tinitingala natin ang mga heroes unang-una syempre magulang natin dahil yun ang nakagisnan na ng natin di ba na pagmulat ng mata mo ay ang nanay mo it's either ang nanay mo o ang tatay mo o mga kapatid mo yun ang mga hero so ang hero for me personally ang hero ay ang mga tinitingala natin ang sinusunod natin ng mga yabag di ba at ang mga Ayun, uh, tinitingala at sinusunod na yan bagat na pa siguro mga mga tuwing uh, nasa trouble tayo eh gusto nating tawagin. Ayan, di ba? Kunyari, uh, nahirapan tayo on some mga bagay, mga uh, ang ating pagdidesisyonan. Yun, siguro tinitingala natin sila na isagipin tayo. Ayan, yan ang for, hero for me, di ba? Ikaw, Ikaw lang, Joe. Ako, hero? for me, since nasabi mo na yung pamilya at kung ano, ako naman, uh, a hero for me is ano, yung taong nag-i-inspire sa'yo everyday, ayun, na nagbibigay mm-hmm. sa'yo ng ano yun, motivation sa pang araw-araw na buhay. For me, sa akin yun ang hero. So, mm-hmm. besides sa family, so mayroon tayong parang ano eh, tao na iniidolo natin araw-araw na parang yun ang hero natin. So, ano yun, maging masaya. Ah, okay. Kasi lumilipad ba yung hero mo? <laughs> Lumilipad ba sa gabi na? Yung mga hero ngayon may pandemya. Ah. <laughs> Correct. Naku, no, lalo na ngayon may pandemya. Mas lalo natin kailangan ng hero, di ba? Correct. Mm-hmm. Oh, alam nyo, uh-huh. ito po yung sinasabi ninyo, Nathan D. and John Alicious, ano, na yung hero, yung mga taong tinitingala natin, pinagkukunan natin ng, uh, ng inspirasyon at mga gabay sa buhay. Ngunit alam nyo ba, at ito na rin sa mga karenbo natin na nanonood ngayon, merong isang hero na kadalasan, hindi kadalasan, but uh, all the time, ano, all the time, nakakalimutan itong hero na ito at kilalang kilala natin ang hero ito. Ngunit dahil you know, dahil sobrang lapit niya sa atin, hindi natin siya napapansin. Iba yan yung taga Project 8 si Hero. <laughs> Si Bayo, si Robi Bayo, itaga Quezon City, hindi ba 'yon? Hindi ba 'yon? Ano ba? Ah, may ya, sa sa habang uh, ano, uh, magpo-progress tayo sa ating discussion tonight, mm-hmm. ay malalaman natin sino yung hero na 'yon oh, na oh. hindi natin masyadong na-acknowledge. Ayun. Kasi Dapat nakatingin yun sa mga ibang tao, nakatingin tayo sa mga tao talagang inaakala natin na may powers para sa gipin tayo. Dapat may hanap, tayo. hanapin natin, correct. Hindi ba tayo, ano, mag, wala ba tayong pa-music dyan? I need a hero, ganyan. Ah, oh, <laughs> o, okay, parang ko. Di ba? Mamaya. Or Mariah Carey, di ba? Di ba? O, correct. Ako na-attract ang mga tao sa hero, mm-hmm. sa isang hero. Kasi nga, kapag tayo nakaranas ng... Uh, Uh, ng mga pagsubok sa buhay na ano tayo magsusurvive doon natin kinukuha yung inspirasyon at okay. lakas sa kanila so that we can survive through tough times the, co- the self as the core source of strength and survival ay itong ating guest sa Mother Superior ngayong gabi ay masasabi ko talaga na he carried himself victoriously through those tough times in his life at siya mismo talagang 
inakay niya ang kanyang sarili mga mga sa kinalalagyan niya at matutuklasan natin yan mamaya sa ating mga dito. Sa Rainbow, dito sa Rainbow Society, ang aming mga Mother Superior guests ay nagsisilbing salamin. Hindi lang para sa mga LGBT community, para din sa lahat regardless of gender and sexual orientation. Mm-hmm. Salamin na posibleng makikita mo ang iyong sarili sa kanilang mga kwento sa buhay. Dito, may kwenta ang bawat kwento na totoo. Our Mother Superior is a seasoned event director. Ayan. It is stage of various marketing functions for corporate organization. He directed, actually, uh, director talaga siya rin ng events. Ayan. He directed some events in modeling industry product launches and some of the cosmetic lines, fundraising events for health and uh, social advocacies of uh, various organizations. The Miss Philippines 2019 Coronation Night is held at uh, Tanghalan Pasigenyo. Uh, Mrs. Miss ba yun? Mrs. Miss, no? Miss Philippines. Me. Ayun, siya ang gumawa. And the uh, uh, fashion show segment of Galder, Galderma launch featuring the Couture Evening Collection of acclaimed designer Francis Liberal. Occasionally, he writes pub- publicity firms and create PR stories for high-profile clients and contributing writer for People Asia magazine, Voices Mirror, and Asia Traveler magazine. He's also a writer now for um, wow. Asia Traveler magazine. Yes, currently. On his free time, he acts as co-administration for Filipino Poet Society and an online society of established and budding Filipino poets based on the Philippines and abroad. Ayan. So, hindi na natin papatagalin. Please, Ka, mga ka-rainbow, please all welcome my friend, Vic Sevilla. Ayan. Yes, so, Pasto. Pasto. Ayan. Hello, hello, yeah, hello. Hello. Hello, um, no. Vic, I'd like to, ano, I'd like to congratulate the three of you, JV, Hi. Nathan D, and John Alicious for your perfect 10th, ano, um, edition. Big no? dimension that the quarantine period allowed you to, you know, to discover some aspects of yourself at some, ano, um, improvements din sa mga, sa line of work mo. At talaga namang, yan ang isa sa mga advantage din, no? Hindi naman totally talaga negatibo ang naidudulot ng pandemic na ito. Naging creative tayo, no? It op- opened an avenues for creativity and resiliency and ingenuity sa ating mga involved sa event industry. Ayan. Ayan. So, um, Vic, um, kasi uh, doon sa ano mo, sa personal mo na ano, uh, experience of pandemic, uh, siyempre, nag-quarantine period tayo noon, ano? So, ano pa yung mga, on the personal level, ano yung discovering mo? Actually, um, ang isa sa magandang nangyari because of the quarantine I was able to clean the house, clean my room, no? Especially, and dami dami pa lang mga mga bagay-bagay na nakalimutan ko na, because we had, ano, we had this baul, this old baul at home. Iklatering ka. Oh, oh <laughs> hinila ko siya, and when I when I opened it, and dami kong mga photographs, letters, other documents na nakita na nakalimutan ko na, and one of those na para sa akin. Um, JV na um, very valuable na na-rediscover ko is a picture of um of my mom when she was younger and um nung nakita ko yung picture na yun, I remember sitting on the bed and just and just being reminded of how wonderful she is as a person na um, uh, sa gitna ng kahirapan namin uh, marami siyang naituro at naibigay sa aming magkakapatid no uh, one of those memories na natandaan ko was when she was young, when she was at that age, yung nasa picture na nakita ko because she was a young, a young lady at that time, no? Um, at napakaganda niya. She had a lot of suitors. Yes. Uh, oh. uh, at may nangyari sa kanya na incident at that time, she used to be a seamstress at nagtatrabaho siya sa um, Binondo or Ong Pin, no? And um, because she was a seamstress, every day, dinadala niya yung, ano, yung scissor niya. Kasi for them, ano yan, eh, personal tool. Napaka-personal niya. Because that's one of their, ano, one of the tools na ginagamit niya sa kanyang work, no? And then, um, 
sinundan pala siya ng isang suto na na hindi naman niya gusto no so um, sinundan siya and tried to abduct her um, ang ginawa niya is uh, she she was able to get the scissors from her bag and stab the person and very dramatic nung kinakwento niya na sa akin later on yon na natatandaan ko uh, because when i was younger nakikita ko may mga scar siya eh. tinatanong ko yon and ayon niyang explain palaging she skirted the issue but when i was older sinabi niya nga that those were uh, uh, wounds that she got while she was stabbing this ano this abductor she was able to free herself and then with a with a bloody dress she was able to go to the police and filed a report nakulong naman yung, ano yung tao na who tried to abduct her so nakikita ko ron i've learned from that eh, kasi nakikita ko ron yung resilience niya yung pagmamahal niya sa sarili niya tsaka sa dignidad niya she was able to fight because my mother was not a big woman she was very small no and um she was able to fight ganun niya kamahal yung dignidad niya pinangangalagaan niya talaga yung respect at dignity niya and uh, at the cost of nearly her life pinaglaban niya to so i've learned from that as a as a person nung nalaman ko yung story sabi ko ganun pala yung nanay ko and you know um natutuwa ko na nagawin din yon sa sarili kong buhay na i-apply ko yun. my first assignment Aside from the continuity script, binigyan niya ako ng feature story, the origin of mommy. Can you believe it? Ang galing naman, no? Well, ano, mommy. I had, and you know, I had to go to Mamun Look because they were the first ones. And yeah. then interview the owner, ganyan-ganyan. So, sinabmit ko yung story. Siguro that was a Thursday. Sabi niya, I'll get back to you. I'll read the story first and then we'll see. I will talk with my producer and etc. etc. After that, um, lumipas ang Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, hindi siya bumalik. Sabi ko, wala. I did not make it. Ako naman natuwa lang for the experience. And then on Tuesday, bumalik siya. Sabi niya, Vic, um, when can you resign? We're taking you in. That's how I started. This was for the TV show Manila Manila, which was airing on the newly opened um, ABS-CBN. This was after the Edge Revolution, and um, ang host pa namin nun, ano si Twink Makaraeg. Oh. oh, and then that that's how I started uh, to write. Um, I was very scared. It's not an easy task if you're not trained to do it. You do not know the discipline. So I learned to listen and I learned to observe. I read a lot of scripts from people who are very good writers. And tried to learn from that. So yun yung ano, yun yung mm-hmm. nag- ano. And in that respect, this this person who asked me to write, he goes by the um, by the pen name of Mikey Abbott. He used to um, write for Reuters in Manila, one of the best writers that I have ever come across. Napakagaling niya magsulat. And then he taught me a lot. So siya yung apart from my mother, who was my first hero. This was another hero in my life who came from out of the blue and opened a door for me that I didn't know existed. Sino so, from, from being a waiter, yung una mong work, and then you shifted to becoming a writer. Grabe yung transition na. Oo nga. It's a surprise. Amazing. Grabe Vic. At uh, doon mo nakuha at doon mo natagpuan yung talent mo, yung, yung pag-talent mo sa pagsilap. Galing, That's galing. That's true. Okay. And from there, I started na rin sa magazines after I resigned from um, Manila, Manila. I started um, work sa magazine. And then, um, I got introduced to certain people. Siyempre, nasa magazine ako, no? I, I was able to meet um, designers, yung mga ganyan, uh, photographers. And then, because of that, because of my association with designers, I met an events director. Very strict, can be scary sometimes, but taught me a lot. Later on in life, um, hindi lang yun yung hinanap ko eh. I also had my spiritual search. And luckily, mahal talaga ako ng Diyos siguro. Um, I found the right spiritual um, the, the right ah, sure. spiritual guide for me. No, uh, Si Pastor Ed Lapis, he taught me a lot of things. Hindi nga directly eh, minsan from, ano, from his sermons. Parang ako yung kinakausap niya. 
and uh, I've learned a lot of lessons from him. Kagaya ng sinasabi niya na one of the things that I can impart is that always look for happiness. No matter how difficult life is, always look for what makes you happy because life is short. You mm. have to find yeah. your happiness and happiness is always a decision. Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know.